1861, John Lowell formed an amateur baseball club that adopted the New York rules for play instead of the bat and ball game in his home state of Massachusetts. Five years later, in the aftermath of the American Civil War, people in every corner of the United States were playing the New York version of baseball. Sure, Lowell looks different from a 21st century player, but he's holding a bat, he played on a diamond, and he used words like infield, outfield, foul ball, and pop fly. In John Lowell's time, as in ours, a 300 batting average meant you were good. Baseball connects us to something that existed among previous generations. In 1888, relatively few fielders used gloves, and pitchers did not wind up and push off from a mound, as you can see from this depiction of the Boston Nationals and the New York Giants. At the same time, many things have not changed. The best pitchers consistently prevent opposing teams from scoring more than three earned runs per game, and the league batting average consistently ranges between 240 and 270. But beyond any statistical measurements of player performance, Professional baseball is exceptionally revealing of American society and its characteristics over time. In 1903, 10 great population centers located in the industrialized cities of the North had major league teams, and a striking proportion of the ballplayers on those teams were first or second generation immigrants from Ireland. 100 years later, 28 cities in the United States and Canada hosted major league franchises, and a striking proportion of players on those teams hailed from the Dominican Republic. Baseball is a lens through which we can see social and economic change. Jackie Robinson and Larry Doby integrated the major leagues in 1947, which is a reminder that racial segregation prevailed for about half of the league's history. Baseball reminds us where we have been and where we are today. And there is no shortage of bridges between the past and present. In 1919, Babe Ruth pitched 133 innings for the Boston Red Sox and posted a 2.97 ERA. The same year, he hit 29 home runs in 432 at-bats. Three years later, in 1922, Bullet Joe Rogan pitched 193 innings for the Kansas City Monarchs and posted a 2.83 ERA. He also hit 15 home runs in 241 at-bats. One century later, Shohei Otani pitched 130 innings for the Los Angeles Angels, posted a 3.18 ERA, and hit 46 home runs in 537 at-bats. Elite two-way players are so rare, they come along once every century. Ruth, Rogan, and Otani illustrate why you can't fully enjoy Major League Baseball without knowing at least a little bit about the game's history. In 1882, Tony Mullane, an Irish-born pitcher for the Chicago White Stockings, began pitching with his right and left arms. 134 years later, Pat Vendita of the Oakland Athletics made his Major League debut as the second fully ambidextrous pitcher. Baseball's long continuous history, with its universe of comparable statistical measures, make these moments interesting. And as I've said before, we can use teams and players to understand society as well. This channel contains lectures and short videos about baseball. Let me know what you thought of this one in the comments, and thanks for watching.